So hello everyone, welcome to our live online info session for the Canadian Income Tax course at Ashton College. Uh, very glad to have you all here today. My name is CJ McGilfrey and I'm with the Marketing and Communications team. Today I'm joined by several colleagues. We have Rika, who's also from Marketing, handling all of the back-end technical aspects of the session. We also have Maggie from Admissions, who will be speaking with us. And we have Sanjay, who is our instructor for the Canadian Income Tax course. Uh, so welcome everyone, thank you. Just a couple of housekeeping keeping notes for our attendees. Uh, we do love engagement. We really encourage you to ask your questions during the session so we can get you those answers and feedback. Um, if you're joining us on Zoom, you can use the Q&A box. You can also use the chat box or the raise hand function if you want to uh, come on microphone and ask your question out loud. If you're watching on Facebook Live, you can leave us a comment there. We will be monitoring the comments during today's session. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can leave us a comment there or email us at ceinfo at ashtoncollege.ca or give us a call at 604-891-1256 or toll free 1-866-759-6006. Now, before we move into the interview portion of today's session, I'm going to hand the mic over to Maggie, who's going to speak about the admissions. Thank you very much, CJ, and uh, hello there. I would like to welcome everybody to this live info session for the Canadian Income Tax Course. My name is Maggie, Admissions Officer for the Division of Continuing Education. If you are interested to learn the Introduction to Canadian Income Tax Theory and Practice, then this is the right course for you. Ashton College offers the live online Canadian income tax course that will benefit those individuals wishing to begin a career in accounting and taxation. And to those who are already in the field of accounting but want to increase or update their knowledge, this is the right course for you. We will hear a lot of information straight from our instructor later on. The upcoming start date is on September 10 till December 3, 2021. Again, that will be on September 3. 10 till December 3, 2021. The webinars will be held on Fridays from 4 p.m. till 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and the registration fee is $870. The course duration is 13 weeks with a total of 39 hours of instruction, and a certificate of completion is given right at the end of the course upon request. To register, please visit our website at ashtoncollege.ca, and this is under Continuing Education Accounting Courses. You can also send us an email like what CJ just mentioned a while ago, ceinfo at ashtoncollege.ca, or call at 604-891-1256. Thank you, CJ. Thanks so much, Maggie. Uh, wonderful. So, Sanjay, over to you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. Uh, Thank to you. start us off, could you tell us a little bit about your experience and your educational background and how you came to be a teacher at Ashton College? Okay, so my name is Sanjay Bhatia and uh, I am a Chartered Professional Accountant, CPA uh, from Canada and also I have done my CPA from US. Uh, I was, uh, I've been working in a lot, a lot of um, accounting firms and also worked in uh, corporate industry in US and uh, moved to Canada in 2010 uh, after spending about 10 years in US. And then since then I've been here and I have uh, always had a passion for teaching. I, uh, my background, basically I'm from India. So my journey started in India and then from there I uh, came here uh, and uh, so there also I had an opportunity to do teaching. My mm -hmm. family background has been like all my entire family is uh, uh, academic into academics. So which means that we are all teachers and we love and especially uh, like it's also my passion. And mm -hmm. that's how I got involved with the uh, Ashton College. Uh, they, they were running these courses and I, I expressed my interest in them. And I'm glad I'm, I'm now part of it. I think almost uh, into my third year, I think now. And uh, really like uh, the uh, overall, you know, the the schedule the they have and all the courses they have, very practically oriented, uh, very much needed in today's uh, uh, situation. The way mm -hmm. things are right now, um, very challenging situations are coming up. So it's a very very good uh, with course that way. Wonderful. Well, we're very lucky to have you, and I'm excited to hear all of your insight about the course. Uh, to start, how about? Um, 
let's talk about the focus. Uh, how much of the course focuses on individual taxes and how much of the course focuses on corporate taxes? Okay, so the major focus is on individual taxation and I would say about 90, 10, 90 is uh, individual and uh, corporate is tax. And the reason for that is because individual taxation is something which uh, is very, a uh, lot of people use it. Uh, and it's very practical, not only for doing your own individual taxes, but helping other people, maybe your family. Uh, and uh, if you go to an accounting firm, you pay a lot of money. Uh, so if you have uh, got a very good understanding of how taxes are done, you would be not making some mistakes and not be you know, avoiding any deductions or anything. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's, I think that's what I feel is a very uh, good thing to do, yeah. Yeah, very clear. Uh, great for prospective students to know. Um, yeah. How about the general structure of the course? What are some of the other main topics covered? So the major focus, as I mentioned, you was in individual taxation. Mm -hmm. So we are covering almost, I think, everything in individual taxation, starting from the employment income and going up to the uh, like business income, uh, the rental income, capital mm -hmm. gains, you know, everything that uh, you could think of the benefits associated with the, you know, whenever you're doing your taxes and all that thing. So that's a major focus. And then a, a part of it, we are also doing a little bit of corporate taxation. We are just introduction, some few topics, which are very relevant. We were doing it. Um, and uh, we, uh, the idea also is to see if we could, you know, incorporate in the individual taxation, a, a software session, maybe an hour or two session where we, can get, you know, I can show you how the actual um, software works uh, in, in a particular individual taxation whenever you're doing it. So, that sounds yeah. great. And yeah. it's clearly, there's a huge emphasis on the practical aspects of Absolutely. doing taxes so that people can go out, succeed in that way. Absolutely. Um, how about uh, relevant legislation and laws that govern income taxes? Will we be covering this in the course? I mean, see, the thing is that it's a in, uh, individual income tax. So the basically the main is the Income Tax Act. That's mm -hmm. the one which we cover. And there is a federal taxation. There's a provincial taxation. Provincial is becomes a little bit more, um, I would say, localized. But okay. uh, and there is one thing more, which is called GST, which is also an important concept, uh, especially for people who are who are self-employed as an individual. Mm -hmm. Although it also applies to corporations, but since we are not covering a lot of corporations, but it will be a little bit of it. So it's a GST act and the, what you call the individual income tax act. Those are the two things which uh, we'll be covering in this. So if someone is self-employed or they're working as a private contractor, uh, it sounds like this course would be really beneficial for them. Absolutely, perfectly. Mm -hmm. Perfectly with them, they will be able to understand how the GST works. Um, how do you, how do these deductions work? Especially, you know, when you are um, doing business, spending a lot of you know, incurring a lot of expenses. Which expenses are relevant? Which are which you should claim, and you should avoid claiming the expenses which are not doesn't belong. You know, doesn't mm -hmm. result in any business. So, very very useful, I would say. Absolutely, dot on this. That's why I, I am saying, very very important for anybody who is self employed. Uh, uh, and have their own business and they want to understand how taxation works, it would be a very, very useful course for them. Sounds like a good investment too, because if you invest in this course as a one-time investment, then you're not having to, you know, go to an accountant each and every year to do those taxes. And Perfect. obviously you're going to rack up a pretty big bill that way. Yeah, you, yeah. you hit the nail on the head. Basically, <laughs> absolutely perfect. Yeah. That's what I was initially, I said that, yeah, yeah. basically it helps you not only understand your taxation, but you can help your family also, mm -hmm. and you can save money. Uh, you know what you're doing. You know, you are not 100% relying on your accountant for anything. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's un unavoidable. You have to go to an accountant if there is a complexity involved, but overall, a very basic understanding of how the uh, deductions work will really help you to, uh, you know, get the maximum out of when you're filing mm -hmm. your taxes. Do you find that students come in with a lot of misunderstandings or misinformation about, you know, what it means to do their taxes? Is there some relearning that happens? Well, uh, relearning happens in the sense that most of the time I have found, like, uh, from my experience, uh, people who come, they are uh, new to taxation, mm -hmm. um, a lot of them. They, they get their taxes done from their accountant. 
um, they, they, when I teach them, when I was like going through them, you know, all the topics and they were surprised also like, okay, this, is, this can also be done. This can also be done. So they were, it was element of surprise in there also. Uh, and some people who are experienced enough, they, they also gained a lot because they, because I, as I mentioned, I always cover, you know, practical aspect of it, try to give some examples how things are. So that makes uh, people understand it, like wh what's the importance of taxation and what to avoid, what not to, you know, be careful mm -hmm. when you are filing your tax, especially for self-employed people. Employment, maybe it's easy, but mm -hmm. <laughs> self-employed <laughs> You know, my, my background is in theater. And when I was in acting school, we had a, a small master class on doing taxes for actors. And it was oh. incredibly complex. Absolutely. Yes. The number of things you have to consider, uh, yeah. you know, listing as expenses and, and yeah. free income. Yeah, Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. Um, so, I mean, we talked about this a little bit, but uh, which professions would benefit from taking the course? Uh, is it good supplementary learning for accountants, for other folks in other business areas? Well, I would say like, uh, as I mentioned to you, taxation is good for people who are self-employed, who are mm -hmm. like, you know, doing their business, small business. It's very useful for them. Combine that with the, the accounting, you know, bookkeeping they're doing. It's a wonderful combination. It will really help them to understand their business better and help them to plan their uh, you know uh, business better do them tax planning mm -hmm. uh, and uh, all these things are very very important it is also useful for people who uh, as i'm going to repeat that again basically people who want to understand how the taxation is done mm -hmm. it's it's useful for them also um yeah overall Overall, it's 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 something that everybody should do it. I mean, I personally feel uh, it's it really helps you to understand. Even if you are like, not you know going to do your taxes at some point, or maybe you you have an accountant who with whom you rely on, it's not a bad idea to do it because you can question mm -hmm. your accountant. And sometimes, let me tell you, accountants they always uh, uh, you know uh, are caught off guard if the the uh, clients start asking some good questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, that way they can, they will have to spend more time on your, your case and uh, be able to give you good advice also on certain things. But if you do not even ask about it, they're not going to give it. Mm -hmm. They are just going to finish it up. So it's very, very useful for people who, so if you, you don't go, never, I would say never, never be blank about taxes. It's your money. You are spending uh, money. You are incurring those expenses. You have to pay taxes. And if you don't, uh, if you do not understand how it's done, it will be a problem. So that's mm -hmm. why I personally feel that uh, with this thing combined with the accounting work, uh, bookkeeping and this, it's a, it's a wonderful uh, combination and mm -hmm. everybody, and you will definitely gain out of that. It sounds like it should be a mandatory course for uh, Absolutely. high school uh, students graduating, yeah. going out into the world. <laughs> Absolutely. Because people are yeah. afraid. Yeah, people are scared of taxes. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. People are scared of taxes. They don't want to you know, touch it. They, they just want to give it to an accountant who will file their taxes and then they are done with it. Uh, but they don't understand there's, that once it gets complicated uh, for them, let's say they have investments which are mm -hmm. going on. They've invested in something in, you know, how the TFSA works. Very, very important. TFSA, how TFSA works. Nobody knows what a wonderful tool uh, see, uh, the government has given to, uh, to the people to use TFSA mm -hmm. as a good investment vehicle. They don't know about it. Mm -hmm. And they just uh, assume TFSA just like any other account which you can, they can use. They don't know how it can be so useful for them. So mm -hmm. this TFSA, although it's not related to uh, the taxes, but it's very much part of the whole thing. And we do cover TFSA in there also. So, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it definitely. Yeah. For sure. So do you have a question from one of our attendees? Um, mm -hmm. I'll just share it uh, since it is over chat. Yeah. So the question was, uh, will we be covering QuickBooks and payroll within this course? Um, and Rika did add a comment that we do have separate courses for those two, uh, but do you want to speak to that at all? Yeah, uh, the QuickBooks, uh, yeah, QuickBooks uh, is a very um, comprehensive course that we have here and uh, it covers payroll also. It will, uh, payroll is one of the modules in QuickBooks. You will get to learn how to do uh, work in QuickBooks and uh, depending upon how much effort you're going to put in, uh, I can assure you that you can have a very good working knowledge by the time you you uh, are like you're done with this course of QuickBooks mm -hmm. uh, and understand how the payroll works in QuickBooks and what's done. Yeah, absolutely. But and this, how about uh, yeah? How about the Canadian Income Tax course? Did you are is software covered a little bit in this course, or does it get touched upon at all? 
I don't know. I mean, the bookkeeping as such, as I mentioned to you, bookkeeping is a comprehensive course and mm-hmm. tax is part of it. And I believe tax is just like, an, like you have cost accounting, you have taxation, you have QuickBooks, you have sales accounting, you have financial accounting in all that thing. So, right. Mm-hmm. So this tax is one of the, I believe, uh, the uh, part of the module, uh, which, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, it's definitely, you know, uh, I mean, whatever I have taught, I, I remember like I, I when I, I did uh, the QuickBooks, I did the Sage accounting. Mm-hmm. Also, I did uh, the cost accounting. Uh, I think uh, I've been doing it regularly. Financial accounting also, for, I think one, one time I did. Mm-hmm. So, and, and taxation also have done it. So they're all like, it's like a full, like if you don't think like if you just do taxation, it is sufficient. If you really want to get a very good understanding of uh, how the business works, the entire book, uh, bookkeeping course is very, very useful for that. And mm-hmm. it's very, very practical oriented as I have taught courses and I can vouch for it. Very practical courses. Uh, if, you're, if you're ready to put in ha- your heart into it, you can gain a lot of it. And as Absolutely. instructors, you know, we are here to help. And our main aim is that, okay, if you are ready to work with us, we are ready to work with you. Mm-hmm. And we will make sure that when you, uh, you know, you, you learn the things, the concepts, by the time you come out of it, you are you have a very good understanding of it. Mm-hmm. So for our attendees, definitely worth checking out our website at the Continuing Education Department for Accounting. And then we also have, as Sandhu was mentioning, the uh, program, um, which has been rebranded as accounting. So you can check that out if you're interested in a fully comprehensive look yeah. at all the, these topics we're discussing. Um, so my next question for you uh, this is a super relevant one. So uh, CRA has introduced some changes to benefits and credits as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, will these updates be discussed during the course and what what can we expect from that? Well, uh, the one thing I must say that now the hopefully the COVID is coming to an end um, and uh, the benefits when they started in last year, the idea was to uh, put them as a temporary, you know, uh, basis basis to help the people who are struggling with their jobs, mm-hmm. um, and uh, it continued, and it is still continuing. But slowly, slowly, it's going to fade away. Uh, I can't say when, but it will slowly, slowly <laughs> fade away. So it's a temporary measure. But if you uh, if you want, like we can definitely cover, a, uh, you know, uh, devote some time to it, uh, and. Uh, it basically will uh, like tell you w- what are the eligibilities required you know when you are applying for the these payment these type of benefits because a lot of people are very confused about what are these uh, benefits about and whether i can i should apply or not apply uh, mm-hmm. and that we can cover that kind of thing we will cover that kind of a thing uh, we will have maybe an hour hour of uh, you know session on it that sounds great yeah. So um, as students are taking the class and if, if they have questions that come up, do you have sort of time built into the schedule for that to address specific questions? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's all. That's what we are for. I'm not Wonderful. able to teach, <laughs> do the, the teaching for three hours or two hours that I get and then just go away. We always are like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm always for that. Yeah. Yeah. One of the huge benefits of having a synchronous live online learning Absolutely. is that Perfect. you get that engagement and you have that, yeah, that back I, and forth. During, during the course, I always, during the, whenever I'm teaching a course, I always tell tell the, the our students that if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. If you can't ask right now, you can send me an email anytime. I will try to reply as soon as possible. Turn around time, most of the time is 24 hours. Um, and even during the weekends, you know, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask your question. I always, always emphasize because you learn only by asking questions. Mm-hmm. If you do not know, know what you are uh, being taught, you will not ask, uh, ask questions. And if you don't ask questions, you will not learn anything out of it. But asking questions, you're getting clarifications and those clarifications will help you to get better at things and understand it and appreciate it what's going on. Mm-hmm. That's what we are here for. We are here to make sure that you... <laughs> get maximum out of us, we <laughs> maximum take our knowledge out of us. We are here to uh, spread our knowledge. That's what I, that's why I like uh, teaching also. This is one of the things, passion for teaching because I, I like, you know, sharing information that I have, whatever experience I've acquired being, uh, now I'm, I'm in, uh, you know, CRA, I'm with Canada Remedy Agency. So I've got a good, you know, experience about all these things and definitely it helps uh, to, you know, take advantage of us and mm-hmm. join the course. 
<laughs> well, it's very positive and inspiring to hear. Um, I'll go back to my list of questions. I've got a couple more for you. Um, so, so how about relevant terminology? Uh, does the course cover relevant terminology or do students need to come in with a bit of a knowledge base? Well, it all depends, you know, I've seen case people who do not have at all uh, taxation knowledge, and then there are people who have some taxation knowledge. Uh, when we start, uh, when I start teaching, my idea is always to assume that nobody knows anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I emphasize uh, on reading, like, you know, you read the thing before coming. Uh, that's how I do it. Whenever the, the chapter has to come, I, I give send these slides in advance so that they can take a look at it. And mm -hmm. any technical term which has been uh, uh, which comes you come across it's explained in a very simple layman's language it's mm -hmm. not like uh, you know it will not be gibberish to you you will understand what's being said yeah you don't need a doctoral degree <laughs> no that's why i said like this course is like because we are not here to do like a very advanced taxation we're here to understand how taxation works and the one of the things main uh, you know function of our mind is to make sure that i think make things easy for people and um, if you go into the Canada Revenue website, there's like tons of information and that information sometimes is not easy to grasp. Mm. So, you know, with this, uh, with, uh, with uh, my expertise and, you know, knowledge and experience, I can, you know, explain it in very simple terms and uh, with examples which stick easily. Mm -hmm. Do you use a lot of case studies or, you know, specific examples within the class? Yeah, do cover do cover some examples as the time permits because the time permit uh, it all depends on how much time we have. But yeah, I do do discuss something. Uh, the case studies are there. We, uh, we give assignments. The main thing is assignments where we uh, there are case studies involved. Um, but again, I have to take into consideration what the overall class is, how they are responding to it. But sometimes mm -hmm. you know they they are like not very keen to do the case studies. Then I kind of uh, go through the quiz uh, quizzes, trying to make them understand it. But as we go along into the course, case studies become an important part and uh, in the assignments, there are case studies, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there an exam at the end of the course? Yes, there's an exam at the end of the course, uh, definitely. Uh, the exam, uh, it's a, it's a, I think it's a full one day exam. You are given certain mm -hmm. time and you were to finish it up with the quiz and everything. Uh, the assignments are very important. They par form part of your overall uh, standing in the end. So mm -hmm. with assignments, class participation, very, very important. I always uh, uh, place more very, very importance to that particular thing. And plus the third thing is the um, exam. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Be there. Great. Yeah, very clear overview. Thank you. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, individual CRA audits. I think a lot of people are scared of the word audit. Um, will students learn how to avoid getting audited or how to manage one should it come up for them? Yeah, so if you're talking about just individual audits, uh, basically the audits for the, the self-employed people are, could be related to the expenses. Mm -hmm. You're claiming some expenses and you are having some problem. Uh, that's why always every time um, you're claiming something you should have a proper backup for that so we are going to cover all that thing i'm going to as we go along we are going to spend some time on that also to see you know uh, to I, I will add this as a feature uh, in my course uh, when we are into we are doing the business one business portion of it business means like the the as individual self employed person mm -hmm. so because that kind of audit uh, yeah is very crucial and uh, we will touch upon that that what uh, what needs to be avoided, um, what uh, should be done to make sure that uh, everything is fine, because ultimately you're claiming something, so CRA wants to see what's being claimed and why, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Um, so just a kind of personal question about your uh, experience as an instructor. How would you describe your teaching style in the online classroom? Well, my teaching, uh, it's a, I, I always believe in uh, participation, which, which means like when I'm, uh, when I'm teaching, I expect people to ask me questions. And uh, if I'm asking them questions, they should respond back. Mm -hmm. It's not a one, I don't want it to be one way monologue, because especially when we are uh, in this virtual environment, it becomes so very important that you should always try to be, you know, it has to be both ways. Mm -hmm. um, because otherwise you will, you will sleep. And let me tell you, taxation is very, very technical, but 
to make it interesting that's what we are here for we want involvement so i always uh, you know emphasize on the students who want to really learn it they should come with this thing in their mind they need not come with any you know prior knowledge but they should come with a passion to learn mm -hmm. to grow to to gain maximum out of this course so if you are ready to do that we are ready to here to provide you that so always remember that so this is how it, it, the things will be always wonderful it sounds like there's a huge emphasis on engagement really having that back, back and forth Absolutely. dialogue with anyway, the that's what my style is engage, always engagement the more i more questions are addressed you know if there is a question which being asked and there is a discussion going on i always look how many people are answering what they are answering i don't care about what is wrong or right but the main thing is participation but that gives me motivation i feel motivated to uh, give my best Mm -hmm. I do. I still will do it. But if you give, if you are participating with me, I am here. I'm all years for all years, and I'm always ready to, uh, uh, you know, answer any questions. That's how I. That's my type teaching style. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, so let's just give another little reminder for our attendees. If you do have any questions, you can put those in the chat box on Zoom or the Q&A box. Uh, leave us a comment on Facebook Live or on YouTube. Um, if you do like to kind of sit with your thoughts and come up with questions later, you can reach out via email at ceinfo at ashtoncollege.ca or give us a phone call at 604-891-1256 or toll free 1-866-759-6006. Um, so we will be checking out if there is any uh, ongoing questions that folks have as we kind of work towards the end of the session. Um, so we just talked about your teaching style, engagement. How about expectations of students who enroll in the course? Uh, how much time should they be spending on review and assignments outside of those lectures? Yes, so uh, this is a very, very important because it's a very fast paced course. And uh, the idea here is that when I'm teaching something, they should be able to uh, go back and uh, go through their PowerPoints. Mm -hmm. And also, um, if possible, read some more about it, maybe in the book. Um, and that book will definitely help them to understand it more. And maybe I think you should spend at least one hour or two hours at least, you know, if possible every day and uh, be ready to, you know, spend some time on this and devote some time towards this course. Because as I mentioned to you earlier, the more uh, you are, you know, involved in it, the better is mm -hmm. your chances of really gaining the maximum out of it. If you just like dabble, uh, the results will also not be good. I'm being very <laughs> frank here. So if you are really, you know, serious about it, you really want to learn how the this taxation works, then yes, I am I'm here to help you out. And you will get, believe me, you will get lots of, uh, you know, uh, value additions from me. It's not only just like the course when I'm doing, I also do lots of value additions in terms of, providing my, you know, whatever experience I had, sharing it with you guys as and when, you know, um, topics come. So if I'm teaching something and I come across something, I, I try to, you know, um, give it with a good example so that you guys can understand it much better. So, Wonderful. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And what do you think students will enjoy most about the course? They will enjoy more about the course. Most about the course will be, I would say, since it's an individual taxation, majority of it. Uh, if they think about it, that they are coming to this course, not just to do the course and earn the, earn the grades. They are here to really understand it and use it in their own life. Mm -hmm. If they come with that perspective in their mind, then the chances are they will enjoy this course. If they just think, you know, it's like, uh, you know, uh, talking about very, very I'm, I'm, amortization is one big term. I'm using it. It's a technical term uh, or, or something like, you know, um, the laws and regulations. Uh, you are just, you know, feeling very bored. You are, you know, saying, oh, what the heck is that? I don't understand that. So the, the theory aspect can be very boring sometimes. But the main thing is we try to make it as much, uh, you know, interesting as possible. So if you are ready to understand the concept, you will love it. Because if you, if you, if you are the back of mind, you think I'm doing this thing because I can do my own taxes next year. Mm -hmm. Then if with that thing in your mind, you will feel more interested and drawn towards it. 
but if you just think like any course like i have to finish this course and that's it you know and then i get a get a certification so i will automatically you know be um, you know able to get a good job and it doesn't work like that you have to work at it gain good experience go, good understanding of it the whole thing always have this thing in your mind psychologically prepare yourself that when you're mm -hmm. coming to this course you are learning for yourself mm -hmm. and not just to pass the course but if if you do that then it will become interesting if you don't do that it will become very very boring <laughs> which <laughs> is true for any course yeah, absolutely. absolutely yeah it's a theoretical thing uh, theoretically it becomes boring and we, that's what i i i try to you know cut down the theory as much as possible mm -hmm. and try to focus on the the practical aspect of it so yeah that's what it is it, it's mm -hmm. interesting i have to tell you like basically that's why i ask this question in between because somebody is feeling bored they will immediately wake up and <laughs> they will then say okay yeah 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 that's what the question is so they so you have to be attentive whenever you are you know going through and the main thing is like my type teaching style is if i'm not getting like if i'm finding that the, the students are not like getting something i will stop and try to you know address that situation mm -hmm. so that way you you guys do not feel that you are like just you know i am just a, a teacher uh, and giving the instructions and that's it no mm -hmm. it will like it will, it's a teamwork if we work as a team anything becomes easy and that's what my uh, main idea is so the teamwork helps and with this teamwork uh, this mindset in your when you're doing this course you will enjoy this course wonderful very inspiring to hear <laughs> <laughs> um there are a lot of educational paths out there why do you think students should sign up for this particular course with you at ashton college so if so you're talking about taxation only right now yeah the, the canadian income tax course okay, yeah of course so if you again uh, i'm going to like repeat this whole thing but still you know i've added some more thing to it so uh, uh, the way things are nowadays the market even before covid was where people where the if you plan to work in an accounting firm um, you if you have a good understanding of the bookkeeping plus the taxation your chances of somebody hiring you becomes very high and the reason is because nowadays with the way in the past two months, uh, two years, almost like one year, one and a half year, things have uh, been very bad for the business and they are trying to cut down their costs. And mm -hmm. one of the things they are cutting down is on the training aspect of it. And they're trying to get people who are ready-made, who do not require, min who require minimum training and can get into that. So if your aim is to, you know, do go into accounting firm and become like a CPA later on, this is a wonderful course for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if you are just doing your own business, it's again a very wonderful course for you because it helps you to plan your things because you have to cut down your expenses at the same time pay you know less tax um, and do a tax planning. So with this course, you will at least you know get a good basic understanding of how taxation works, and that will help you to become uh, you know be able to handle your business. And with the competition going on here, every business wants to control their costs. Uh, and be able to work efficiently and still serve the their customers. So to that extent, I personally feel uh, this taxation course would definitely help you. As mm -hmm. an individual who are like employed, uh, it's a very good uh, you know way of doing your own taxes uh, and maybe helping your family also do your taxes. If you don't have any like you know lots of complication in your taxes, that can also help you. So mm -hmm. in other words. I'm, I've covered all the you know areas, and I can bet on that that this particular course will help each one of the this category of people. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Well, I think that's a, a wonderful note to end on. I'm very grateful for all of the insight you've shared today, um, attendees. If you do have any questions, you can pop those quickly in the chat. Um, I'll just say our contact information again. So our email is ceinfo at ashtoncollege.ca, and the phone number is six zero four. 891-1256. The toll-free number is 1-866-759-6006. Um, you can call those numbers, chat with Maggie, get a little bit more information about uh, signing up for the course and uh, having a, a wonderful educational experience with Sanjay. Um, so thank you so much for everyone for attending today um, and to Rika and Maggie as well. Um, and with that, Sanjay, thank you so much. I think I'll just wish everyone a great rest of your week.